Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is now time for the best real estate podcast online. It is time for Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live with Mike and Dave Elkins presented by Elite Realty Group. And that's each and every show that we do. We try to bring you some valuable real estate information to this show. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to give you some, we like to goof a little bit, but we like to give you some good information yeah. also concerning the real estate business, the real estate arena. We like to give you that information. So we're going to be talking about today four repairs or upgrades that you need to do before selling your home. And I will tell you in looking at these and talking about them this morning when Dave and I were talking about what we're going to do on the show today, these are some really good tips. Oh, yes, these are. are some really good things. And when we see people, what I'm going to say, disqualify a home from being the one they purchase, these things are pretty high up on the list they is are. why. Yep. They're, they're way up there. So again, if you're thinking about selling your home or you have someone that's trying to sell their home or you're going to be selling your home in the future, yeah. you'll want to pay attention to this information today again. Four, re, four things, four repairs or upgrades, you could put that in both categories, that you need to do before selling your home. So I'll get us kicked off here today. The first thing you need to do is, and you've heard us speak about this before you've heard us speak about it in maybe curb appeal but one of the first things you need to do repairs or upgrades throw them in the same box right. okay is upgrade the exterior of your house all right yes the exterior notice that right there we're going right. to talk about the interior probably here in a little bit but upgrade the exterior of your house now here's what we got to say to you think about your marketing pictures okay think about putting the for sale sign in the yard, people driving by, mm -hmm. they they get a perceived notion, they get a perception right. about your house by the way the exterior of this house looks. They do. I don't, I see this very rarely, and again, it's very, very rare, but people, what's the first picture? What's like the feature picture of every house? It's actually a rule that it has to be the front exterior of your house. That, that's for our MLS. That's our MLS. Yes. yes. Our, Absolutely. So our board is it's required. It has to be the outside front right. of the house. So now repairs and upgrades. While we're telling you to do that, if there's problems there, people are going to they're going to stop. They're they're not even going to look at the rest of the pictures. No. They're going to disqualify that house because of what they see. Right. In that first picture, all of the marketing that goes out even on the internet, if it has to be that way through our board, most of these sites, Zillow's, Realtor.com, all those right. people, they grab our board data, right. which is that first picture, right. the exterior so of the house. that becomes your profile picture. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what people see about your house. So repairs to that upgrades to that can not only help you again with that marketing pictures with those things that people see but the second thing is is a lot of times people will say oh there's a new home for sale on first street and i'm just using first street as an example let's go drive by right let's drive let's by. go drive by you know here's the picture let's go drive by that they drive by that and they don't like what they see because of the exterior now again right. that can go along with siding brick block rock shrubbery, grass being cut, yeah. power washing. Right, I've got right down here, you know, make sure you, if you if you got siding, something like that, pressure wash the yes. house, keep the grass mowed, keep yes. the weeds oh, cut. Yes. I mean, that's just stuff that... It know. helps so much because, again, it's kind of like, again, you, you made a good assessment there. It's like a profile picture. Yeah. I mean, it's what everybody looks at. Do I even look more or do I just keep scrolling the page? I think it was like Mom said last week when she filled in for me and done a great job, by the way, but mm -hmm. I think she said that uh, she had had people, I think we all have, you've had those people where you drive up to the house and they totally make their decision on the outside of here. Absolutely. They never even get out of the car. Right. What it looks like. What You're it like, looks oh, like. Nah, we're good. We're not even going to yeah, go. Absolutely. Yeah. So again, we're talking about today four repairs or upgrades that you need to make before selling your home. Very good 
advice, some tips here that you need to do. Again, just our opinion. This isn't anything legal. This isn't anything financial. This is just our opinion. So number one is update the exterior. What do you got for number two? Check your air conditioner. Let's talk more That's about one that. of the biggest expenses other than I would say the roof, yes. which I think we might have that on here later too, but mm-hmm. uh, that that potential buyers, you know, they want to know, is the air conditioner in good shape? Is right. the heat good? Is it cool good? Yes. So if you don't, you know, m- me, I'm talking about me mm-hmm. here, I can only know that by going up and looking on my, on the wall yes. and seeing if the thermostat's got it set on what I got it set on. Absolutely. If that's right. Yes. So, but, it, you know, have somebody, have a just professional. A yeah. Just have them come out and service it that way. It might be, a, I have no clue, a mm-hmm. $50, $75 charge. I have yes. no clue. But when that buyer can look and see... Oh, they just had it serviced. Yes. Huge. That's a huge difference. Absolutely. I also got wrote, uh, got wrote down is keep your inside filters changed. Absolutely. I don't know how many times I've been showing a house and a buyer will open up that filter thing and yes. look and see, is your filter clean or dirty? Because mm-hmm. in their mind, if it's completely dirty... They're thinking, oh, they've not took care of this system. Uh-huh, yeah, they've it's not been running and working hard. Yeah, man, this system, I bet it's I yeah. bet it's on its last leg because it's struggling to breathe because of this feeling. Right. And so put yourself, put think yourself, about that. yeah, put yourself in those buyer's shoes and looking at a potential home. You know, they're they're probably going to have some closing costs. They may or may not be paying a down payment, but they're going to be some costs associated with them right. up front for getting the house. That's just what happens, appraisals, inspections, so on and so forth. They don't want to even really have the chance in the back of their mind. I know there's always a chance. Right. But they don't want in the back of their mind to have that chance. I could move in this house. I've liquidated a lot of my assets and my, my yeah. cash reserves Boom. and my heat pump go out. Right. And now I've got a four to $5,000 fix somewhere in that area to get this done. So they look, these, these are things that they look at and they really pay attention to. I will, I, we had a home back in the summer that was listed that was a very hot property okay a very very and when i mean hot i don't mean like hot hot i mean like people loved it okay we were they were a lot of people looking but we had three people in a row looked at the house that wanted to put an offer in and as they were going through the home they all noticed that the temperature in the home was higher than what the thermostat was set on. So they knew right. this thing's not heating or this thing's not cooling right. right. This isn't working. This system isn't working. And it scared them off. It scared them Which off. Which was what, a simple fix? Offer. They had to go get some gas or something? They had to put the, whatever kind of gas that is that yeah. they're now. They had to put that gas in there. Cost and, them $50, $75. Yes. I have no clue what it cost them, but... It scared three buyers scared off. scared three buyers. Now we did sell it. Yes. Still, yeah. But yes. After the fix. After, after the, the fix, fix people yeah. looked at it. Hey, everything's working right. So again, check your air conditioning, your heating, your heat, air and heating systems, what we should put there. Right. Because it's the same thing in the wintertime. Absolutely. Right now, man, it's been cold. It's going to get cold again this weekend. Right. You know, people don't want to nobody probably wants to post those i've seen a ton of people shabon yesterday included was talking about these heat bills man oh yeah, yeah. Sakes, yeah. they're skyrocketing yeah uh, they're I, skyrocketing. I saw a client that i sold a house to she posted on facebook last night said oh my god i about died when i saw my power bills so probably yes. don't want to see those bills right now absolutely absolutely so again those are two things out of the four we're going to talk about today the update the exterior and definitely check your air your heating and air system whatever that is whatever you use for your home make sure that you check that two of the four repairs you need to do before repairs or upgrades that you need to do before placing your home on the market we've talked about here's number three all right and i would say this is a huge one okay we talked about the exterior all right now if if it passes the eye test they like to come into the interior okay so here's tip number three make sure that your floors and your floor covers your floor covering Make sure that that's adequate. Right. right. Make sure again. Now, are we saying brand new carpet, brand new hardwood floors all the way through? No, no we're not. We're just saying make sure it has adequate floor covering. Now, there's a lot of reasons why. Right. One of those that I'll hit here just quickly, but we won't go in too much detail about, is appraisal. Right. Got to have floor covering. Right. right on right. some types of loans. Right. Before it can even qualify for appraisal. Yes. So you need a good floor covering, but. Now, go back with us. It's past the eye test to get on the inside. They've walked in the inside. They're going to start again. What do they see? 
What do they see? Oh, yeah, they see you know, do they walk in and see, oh no, the floor, I gotta replace all the flooring. Right. They're in their mind. Remember, we're taking you inside the mind of a buyer. They're seeing dollars. Right. Yeah. <laughs> they're seeing a dollars. Big investment. They're making a big investment. Yes. So they're seeing those things. Oh, I'm gonna have to replace all this. Now we fully understand sometimes it, it is what it is. You right. know what? You can't replace the floor covering. Right. It is what it is. But at least have it as clean as possible. Right. Even if they're stains. Go to Food City. Ain't that where you can go? Yes. And rent those yes. carpet cleaners. Yes. They'll rent you a carpet cleaner. Take you a Saturday and man, just you know, right. clean those carpets. You know, mop your floors, whatever. Just make sure the floors are as clean as possible. Are as clean as possible. Are as yeah. clean as possible. If it's hardwood, laminate, mop it. You know, do all do all those things. If it's carpet, clean it to the best of your ability. You don't have to go spend a bunch of money and redo all the floors. Right. But again, when we're walking through homes with people. This is what we hear them saying. Right. We hear them say these things. I love the house. I love the neighborhood. I love the area. But yes, I'm going to have to come in and do this. I'm going to, have to come in and replace the flooring. I'm I don't have this wrote down. Do but this is a this is a good something to think about too. And we've seen this happen a lot. We've we've had people do this. But if you don't have the money at the time mm-hmm. to do floors, right? And you know that it's a need. That if you get those people sure. coming there and they keep saying. You know, we it, the floors are just terrible. Right. You know, something's so if that's a problem and you got the equity where you're going to make a little money, you might want to go ahead and give a floor allowance. Floor allowance that yeah. happens a, a just lot. Set that aside. Set that aside. Say we'll give you X Winter amount of dollars, fifteen hundred dollars, yes. two thousand dollars at closing. Yes, the deal's got to close. The deal has to close yes. before you do anything. But at closing, you'll give them a. Allowance for a floor allowance. And then they can go pick their floors, put them in, right. solve that problem. No cash money out of your pocket. Right. It comes from your proceeds. People say that a lot. I don't have the money to do it right now, but if you're going to make a, you know, if you're going to make a good chunk of money. Yeah. What you have to look at is, you know, you're paying a payment. So prolonging this, you're going to have to pay that payment longer. You're better off to give it up front. Somebody buys the house. Right. It's, it's as broad as it is long. Right. Kind of thing. So again, that's number three. Make sure your floors are adequate. Number four, last one. All right, your plumbing and electrical. Of course, yes. plumbing's big. You know, if your water pressure is not good, uh, but make sure that you have no leaks. Yes. Uh, make sure your electrical box is clean. You know, mm-hmm. like your uh, your. Uh, what am I trying to say? Your electrical box, your fuse, yeah. like your, your, sure your, fuse, your breaker box. That's yes. what I want to say. Yeah. Your breaker box. Make sure it's clean and, you know, I'm not saying go in there with soap and water clean it because you get shocked. <laughs> but make sure it looks good yeah. because, again, that's another thing that people check. It's is tidied up. They want to know. They, they don't want wires everywhere. hanging everywhere. Again, yeah. if you can do that kind of stuff, do it. If not, I would definitely uh-huh. tell you to get a professional to do that because that stuff you don't want to mess with. Right. Uh, so... But again, I'll go back to appraisal. It depends on a lot of that stuff. Yes. You know, a lot of them yes. have the old, old circuit breaker, you know, the old screw in fuse type box. Right. You know, you really need to get update to a newer, more modern system for appraisal loan purposes. Right. So on and so forth. Again, there's qualifications on those loans that determine these kind of things. And again, these are got things. a plug in that don't work. Yes. You know, everybody's got one of those plug ins that they know don't work. But go ahead and have that fixed. Yes. I mean, that's a very inexpensive fix. But it, in the beginning, the buyer's mind, right. they think, okay, there's electrical problems here. Absolutely. It could just be the matter of a wire come off. Right, right. So, you know, have, go ahead and have that stuff. The little things. Uh, make you, such a big deal. Man, they, cause they make again, such a big deal. You know, like I said before, buyers are really coming in to look to pick it apart. They're trying to get the best deal. That's right. So, if, you know, if they see stuff that's wrong with this one, it's priced to you know, this amount, this one here is priced exactly the same, right. has no issues. Yeah, you know, it's going to have the upper hand automatically. Yes. So again, that's why we're giving you today these four tips, four little tips, repairs, upgrades that you need to consider doing before placing your home on the market. That gets, again, it eliminates a lot of objections that a potential buyer could come in and give on your house. So some really good information today. Let's review the four. Update the exterior. That's number one that we talked about. Number two is check your heating and air conditioning system. Have it serviced if possible. Number three, make sure that you have adequate flooring, at least clean flooring. Right. We're going to say that. And number four is is check your plumbing and your electrical systems to make sure they're up to code, working and functioning properly. So. The- We thank each and every one of you for listening to today's podcast. Tune in for future episodes by subscribing to our channel and get the latest and greatest real estate information 
right here on Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live, presented by Elite Realty Group. Until next time, have a great and blessed day.